Hello, this is uh, John Kanopoulos. I'd like to welcome you to our center here in Athens, Greece, the laser vision amateur surgery unit. And go to a very interesting case. This is a 62-year-old lady. Her right eye we had treated uh, with cataract surgery several years ago. Her left eye has matured. You can see she's had uh, Russian-style RKs, eight incision RKs. These are her uh, fundus views, blurry on the left. And you can also see the incisions through the optus on this view. Of course, evaluation of macula is standard for us. Macula looks great. And uh, we're going to go to the epithelial cell density. Uh, there is some polymegaphism here, although the overall epithelial cell count is relatively good. Um, very bizarre epithelial remodeling in this RK incision patient on the anterior segment of CT by OptiView in our Placido Disc Topography shows significant astigmatism against the rule, as you can see here, slight angle kappa. Confirm all the uh, topography uh, measurements with also sign fluke imaging. Here, the effect of the RK seems more centered, um, and uh, we're confirming the anterior keratometry uh, by the sign fluke images that we saw before, the Cassini images here as well, and now interferometry with the Tomei device. And all these are attempts to, to calculate the IOL correctly. And uh, besides the actual length measurement, this is our 6 o'clock mark seen at uh, the time of the surgery, which is a 12 o'clock surgeon's view, um, and uh, our lens star measurements. The problem is what keratometry numbers do we place into these measurements? And this is what we're going to talk a little bit here. This is the IOL calculation based on uh, the numbers as they are without the uh, ASRS calculator. Here's the ASRS calculator. You can see that the range is 26.7 uh, and 29.1, a huge range. And this is, again, the Placido disc topography. And we are trying to define the astigmatism on this patient by performing a theoretical topography guided treatment. So we're entering the data into the Wavelight Alcon topo guided software. And you can see that it defines. Uh, stigmatism at two plus diopters at uh, 178 axis, and this is the toric Acrosolve calculator. And we're going to use the ASCRS plus our own formula, which is calculating the lens as it would be a virgin eye and adding two diopters. So that uh, is our uh, confirmed by the ASCRS formula. You can see here we're going to put a T6 at 178 degrees. Our um, Toric IOL marker. Again, I'm using the six o'clock mark that we saw before to put uh, uh, my marker at uh, 90 degrees. I have that image in a screen in front of me in the OR right before I take the step, and then we're going to try and clock in 178 degrees. I was talking about before the fact that we're going to use our topo guided software to give us the amount and axis of the astigmatism, of course, confirmed by sign fluke. Uh, topo topographic astigmatism, and then calculate the lens as if this was a virgin eye and add two diopters. And of course, confirm this with the ACRS formula that gives us a huge range, two diopter range. Now remember, this is my main incision, and another pearl here is I'm going to try and go between the two arcane incisions and avoid intercepting the incisions, otherwise I'm going to have a gaping wound. Use the keratome for my present thesis as well, but only one millimeter epinephrine here to dilate the pupil. So we're talking about the IOL calculation. Uh, also to, to keep in mind is that in these RK patients with the Russian technique, the incisions that run to the limbus, and we saw here placing visco, our uh, go-to viscoelastic uh, to preserve as much as the as possible. A continuous uh, curvilinear capturexis here and uh, standard uh, technique, uh, much easier once the uh, pupil has been dilated. The patient is under payable by anesthesia. My favorite for uh, the European uh, patients that we treat in our center in Athens. So we're talking about diurnal variation with the uh, through the limbus arche incisions. And it's uh, something that needs to be studied and discussed with patients because they will not have even postoperatively a stable refractive error it will be uh, a bit more hyperopic in the morning, a bit more myopic in the evening, and somewhere in the middle it will level off. So you have to discuss with patients when do they desire to be anotropic and plan accordingly. I'm going to use a standard uh, divide and conquer technique, although I am just going to split this lens into two hemi meridians. Um, and uh, we see it's a lens that's 
quite cloudy but not very uh, dense as far as uh, its uh, ability to be uh, phaco emulsified with our signature device here picking up the hemi meridian see how the lens is nicely feeding into the purchasing of the uh, phaco tip i'm going to break here and use more viscoelastic and i know this may sound um, as extreme ex expenditure but as a cornea specialist i have the utmost respect for cornea epithelium and even in young patients this is a 62 year old lady with relatively good epithelium uh, we never spare the expense Of uh, using the uh, uh, visco, uh, our go-to viscoelastic for the time of the phaco emulsification. So here, picking up the second uh, hemi meridian and uh, cleaning up the, the uh, nucleus, and then we're going to go to irrigation aspiration and uh, uh, what I find extremely helpful: the uh, split uh, aspirator using the uh, irrigator through the same uh, main incision and being able to grasp uh, with safety and direct visualization all the residual cortex. Uh, fill the uh, capsule bag with uh, methylcellulose now. You can see this is a very big lens as far as its dioptric power and its astigmatic power. A plus 28 and a half lens, amazing. And uh, lining up the uh, Acrosoft uh, markings, you see how nicely the lens uh, unfolds, gives us those few seconds needed to Position it using uh, acetylcholine here to attain uh, meiosis and, of course, hydrate the wounds, watertight wounds. Very uh, curious on how this will turn out the next few days, but our calculations, again, our uh, home formula of uh, defining astigmatism with a double guided treatment and also cross checking with the ACRS formula gave us 2025 the first day, 2020 a week's time. And this is at midday. Perfect result. Hope you found this presentation interesting. This is John Canalopoulos uh, signing out for a center here in Athens, Greece. Thanks so much for your attention.